Well, it has been a really nice day, a little bit cooler. Most of us sitting in the 60s and 70s. And so we're about 10 to 20 degrees cooler than this time yesterday across the plains. The mountains are feeling very similar to conditions on Saturday afternoon. So we've got 60s right now in the Pikes Peak region. Many of our mountain valleys are in the upper 60s or to the mid 70s. And we're mostly in the 70s for the lower elevations and the plains. So we did have a weak cold front that helped to cool us down today. Day, but it's kept us mostly clear and dry. We still got that low sun angle here this evening in Canyon City, a little hazy in the background, but we do have a few high clouds in place. You can see this stream of high clouds coming off of the Pikes Peak region into the eastern plains and even a few sprinkles into the mountains, but that's just a terrain feature helping to lift the atmosphere. I'm really not tracking any moisture for our area with this cold front. We'll just have a few extra clouds here through the rest of the evening and we'll start to cool off overnight overnight. It's definitely going to be pretty chilly by the time you get up and about tomorrow morning. Uh, but Monday you'll be able to shed that jacket and the afternoon is going to be really nice. Even warmer than today with some 80s creeping back in there in the forecast, but we'll still have those high clouds in place through the afternoon. Then we'll see some changes for Tuesday. Cold front sweeps on through early on in the day and that will keep us cooler will also keep us dry. It's not a moisture front yet, but I am tracking those changes potentially by this time next week. So tonight we'll drop into the 30s and 40s. The plains will see some areas in the middle 30s like in Lyman, and that will match some of our mountain valley temperatures in the middle 30s. Fry 25 will drop to the 40s, so a jacket in the morning, t-shirt weather in the afternoon. I've got 79 in the springs, 83 in Pueblo for your Monday. 70s, 80s, a little hotter than today was, and we are going to see that Tuesday front that will cool us back down to kind of where we're at today, 60s and 70s. So in general, our high pressure this week is finally going to weaken and clear out of here, and it's been around for a couple of weeks, so that's going to be a major change. What's coming behind that front or that high will be this area of low pressure that will bring us cooler temperatures and a chance for showers once we get to next Friday and the weekend. So here's a quick preview of Friday. We'll have some showers in the nighttime hours and then Saturday looks cool with rain showers. Some of that rain may linger into Sunday as well. So that's just a basic look at what's coming. We are going to see a major cool down with that system as well. So we've got 70s up through Thursday and then 60s on Friday and 50s for highs on Saturday. We could get awfully close to our first freeze here in Colorado Springs and Pueblo will continue to watch those overnight temperatures into the week ahead in Pueblo 80s for tomorrow 70s from Tuesday through third Friday and then we'll get really cool starting Saturday high of 58 that day so there's fall it's finally coming Canyon City we're still feeling the warmth for the next few days you're also going to see that cool down into the 50s on Saturday major shift in our weather pattern Woodland Park you may even get a wintry mix out of this system that so that's something we're going to watch very closely as we look ahead.